What is up, guys? Abe here, and today I'm going to be doing King of the Crypt Achievement Prisoner Guide and Splinter Cell Conviction. This fast. achievement requires you to perform 12 hand-to-hand -hand takedowns without alerting any other enemies. Um, now, in order to do this, you have to do this in the New Orleans map, the New Orleans LA map, which is in the uh, Insurgency DLC map pack. Um, this is the second area, I believe, in the in Hunter mode. I'm playing Hunter mode, and this is the second area. And um, so what you're going to have to do is that you're going to have to uh, perform 12 hand-to-hand -hand takedowns without any of the enemies detecting you. So that little red arrow that pops up when, when enemies see you, as long as that doesn't pop up while you're trying to kill them, you'll be perfectly fine. So um, this is me doing a little quick run of it. Now, uh, you don't have to follow the exact way I do it because enemies spawn in different directions, in different locations, I mean, like this one right here. This guy doesn't always pop up over here. Sometimes, I remember, I think, two tries before this one, nobody was there. Nobody was in this area. But if he is here, then that's, that's really good because you can get, like, your first... You can get your first easy kill, like, right there. So that's one. Now you need 11 more. So a lot of times there's always a guy up here. Like, there's, it's, it, there's like, rare occasions that he won't, he won't be up there. But he, he'll, there'll always be some guy up there. But I decided to go for this guy since it's, he's more of, a, he's more of an, uh, a dark area. And then there's that guy over there. I don't remember who I go for. Oh, I think I go for this dude. It can be, by the way, it can be any form. See, that counted for some reason, even though it says detected. That counts. It's gonna count as long as the other enemies, as long as the other enemies don't realize that you're there and they don't turn on their flashlights and look for you. I think it, I think it's fine. But um, what I was gonna say before is that any form of hand-to-hand -hand takedown would count, like that one, like throwing them off the the rail or going next to them and pushing B or. Dropping, doing the death from above kill. As long as it's uh, some form of a close quarters kill, it'll count. So, um, this guy runs over here and realizes that one of his guys are down. I lure him into it and kill him. Now I only have seven enemies left. Um, he finds out this, he, the same thing happens with him. But I think he ends up telling everyone because I couldn't take him down while, he's, uh, while he was alerting them because the flashlight was pointing at me. So I had to wait for him to tell everyone, and then eventually he'll come towards me, and then I take him down. But then the sucky part is that everyone else right now has their flashlights on because they've been alerted that I'm here. So now they're looking for me. So if you can try avoiding that, I mean, by the time you, by the time you, by the time you take down like what, like eight guys, it shouldn't matter anymore. But whatever. I mean, like eventually you'll get them down. It's just like it's just that with the lights on, it just takes a long, a much longer time. Like like what I'm gonna like what I'm about, what I'm about to do because it takes more time to find them. So, try and avoid that. Try and, like, take down enemies in, like, dark areas or wait for them to go into a corner. Find areas that, 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 um, that enemies don't, you know, usually, um, like, patrol. Make sure that, uh, make sure that you stay in, uh, in dark areas. Or if you see any light, make sure you turn them off. As long as they're, as long as they're nowhere near it. If you, if you try to shoot lights out while they're, uh, while they're near the, uh, your area, they'll hear the lights go off. And then they'll freak out. And then they'll probably start running towards you or they'll call reinforcements or something crazy would happen so i recommend that you don't do that make sure that you're um, only turning off lights where nobody's uh, around like right here um i think eventually i think now this is the part where i i uh i decide to just go look for them see like just now the guy goes uh-huh because he hears my footsteps and he hears me running really quick and i think he also found um one of the dead bodies of his uh of his dudes so I think I'm going to go down here and uh, take this guy out, which will leave me four enemies left. The reason why it takes longer and longer, the more enemies you kill is because they start to spread out. Like I see, you see them, you can see them on the markers on the screen. You see like there's one down here, which I'm about to go grab and kill. And then there's another guy on the other side. And then there's someone else upstairs. It's just a lot of, uh, just take, it's just a lot of, uh, a lot of taking, you know, like being patient and taking your time. And this is on the rookie difficulty, by the way. This is possible to do unrealistic. You can do this unrealistic. It's not that hard. It's just that you have to be way more patient than whatever this, whatever I'm doing right now. Because in terms of their alertness in, in, uh, in realistic difficulty, it's way stronger than this one. Like in realistic difficulty, if you're going, if you're going up to them from behind and you're in the dark... The closer you are, the higher chance that they'll detect you. So it's it's really really annoying. I just did it on rookie, so I don't have to deal with that whole bullshit. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna grab this guy. He gets killed, and I have oh, this is something that you must always do. See, I didn't target this this other guy, which I'm about to run into right now. 
targeting is very very important for this achievement in order to in order to make sure that they don't find you or to make sure that you under you know where they are at all times see like right there i was lucky enough not to know that um i was lucky enough to get away from there from that if 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 i uh if i was more careless i he would have found me and he would have like made a gunshot and then reinforcements would have been called and i'd have to start over so make sure you also target enemies and here's the last guy and dome dude king of the crypt 30 gamer score and yep i hope this was very helpful and um yeah check out more awesome videos